little break here in the action uh, while uh, uh, they get ready to bring Hillary Clinton on. This is a quick town hall. I like yeah. it. This Quickie quiz. What could be simpler? Good so far. I thought that Bear did a decent job. In mm. terms of moderating in town halls and debates, so far I feel like this was one of the best cases. Yeah, yeah it, weird. It, it, I, maybe he's just disinterested. Uh, Bear Bear isn't Sean Hannity like we've we've noted in the past, and mm -hmm. uh, he seemed fair, perhaps even on the like easy side, the softball side to some extent. Well, I have one conspiracy theory, and then one thing that I think they should do going forward. Uh, the conspiracy theory is uh, that the Republicans hate and Fox News hates Hillary Clinton more. They think she's more mm -hmm. likely to win. So they'd rather yeah. take it easier on Bernie Sanders and be harder on Hillary Clinton. We're about to find out because we just saw Bernie That's Sanders. Yeah. We'll see if they're tougher on Hillary Clinton. She hasn't gone yet, yeah. right? As we tell you this during our live coverage. Uh, the the second thing is, I actually don't mind Fox News doing uh, Democratic uh, town halls, debates, etc. As long as the Republicans will submit to actual progressives asking them questions, mm -hmm. not like, oh yeah, we'll go on MSNBC and have Joe Scarborough ask her a question. Mm -hmm. That's no, that's not the same thing, right? So then so, we get to moderate. Yeah, for the if you have if you yeah. have us moderating a Republican uh, debate, I'll give you two Fox debates. <laughs> okay. So I have a hypothesis on why they're being pretty easy on Bernie Sanders, and I could be wrong about this, but this is what I think. I think that Fox News has bought into the notion that Bernie Sanders is less electable than Hillary is. So they might have a vested interest to ensure that he wins the ticket as opposed mm -hmm. to Hillary, right? Yeah, that's not that's really not a wild crazy theory because I saw Tucker Carlson and a bunch of the uh, and another person interview a pro Bernie Sanders uh, advocate um, a while back and they let him get away with body blow after body blow on Republicans, conservatives, etc. I, and my, I'm like, on Fox News, they had to cut your mic about 13 minutes ago under normal circumstances, mm -hmm. even though the interview was about three and a half minutes. Um, <laughs> okay, and I was like, oh, they're bringing on Bernie Sanders people to talk positively about Bernie Sanders. Gee, I wonder why, right? Yeah. And so, look, if if it's another news organization, I think it's fair to ask about, hey, what are the different interests of the management, corporations, advertisers, yada yada. Uh, sometimes that winds up having a macro effect, sometimes it doesn't have any effect at all. At Fox News, it, it's not that subtle. They literally, and we've got insider info on this that, that has been proven over and over again, memos from management down to their news anchors that tell them what to do. The guy who ran Fox, who runs Fox News, Roger Ailes, was a Republican operative for the rest of his life, yeah. including with Richard Nixon. No, they tell their anchors exactly what to do. Uh, for the advantage of conservatives and Republicans. So a anything they do is not an accident in that mm -hmm. sense. Yeah, and, and I would like to point out again, to go back to, we, we, were, we got accused of apples and oranges, but this was what I saw so far, it was only a half an hour, and it was what I would consider, they weren't, they, maybe they only seemed like softball questions because he handled them so well, but one or two were fairly soft. But even this town hall from Fox, Compare that to Anderson Cooper's town hall with Republican uh, candidates. This half hour had more substantive questions about some topics that have never been brought up at a debate, including reproductive rights, mm -hmm. than the entirety of three candidates going on for two and a half hours with Anderson Cooper while he was asking them about their favorite flavor of ice cream and their favorite musical number. So that's <coughs> a great point there. Abortion hasn't been brought up in a Democratic debate yet, which is unconscionable. And it took Fox News to bring it up. Mm -hmm. I know that it's gotten a lot more attention in the last 24 hours as part of the reason that Fox News probably brought it up. But nonetheless, give them credit for bringing it up. And uh, Look, yeah, so I give them credit for bringing that up, them up. And we're going to have a much lengthier discussion about this when we cover uh, stories for our show. Um, but I don't actually blame the moderators for not bringing it up because I poured over both of their records on reproductive rights. And it's boring because they're exactly the same. Yeah. Right? So there's really no debate there. They're the same. Yeah. So yeah. last thing, last thing before we get back to the debate. Um, they, uh, the question about, oh, the debt and the debt is terrible. Why don't you do something about it? Is Republican framing. They did do that question to Bernie Sanders. There's no question about pina coladas. Uh, but they did have a super softball on the American people think you're way more honest than Hillary Clinton. Yeah. How do you respond? That's as softball as it gets. So let's yeah. keep it real. They did do that. Uh, and generally favorable towards Bernie Sanders. Now let's see how they handle Hillary Clinton. 